After Vergon buried their nukes, the leaders of the Twelve Colonies promised we would never see war of that scale again. Peace would reign in our lifetime, and the lifetimes of our children. They could not have predicted the Cylon Rebellion less than 30 years later. The worst conflict in colonial history, and we are at a stalemate. No foothold gained that isn't lost again within weeks. The Jupiter Project was supposed to be our ace in the hole, the largest, most powerful battle stars ever created. Each of the 12 colonies were promised one, in return for signing the Articles of Colonization. The first, Galactica, was Caprica's crowning glory. It went missing two weeks after deployment. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed, belongs to Pycon. We were days away from delivering it when we heard the news. Icon's capital cities were devastated by Cylon assault fleets. Among them, our own colonial fleet headquarters. There was no chance to intervene. Command of Colonial Fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, has become the ad hoc fleet headquarters. As Kane's XO aboard Daedalus, you have been promoted to Operations Commander of the entire Colonial Fleet. Kane intends immediate retaliation for the attack on PyCon. The War Room awaits your arrival, Commander. Icon's Battlestar is almost ready to deliver, but Sinan says it can't make an independent jump until the fuel lines have stabilized. Kane's orders are to jump Daedalus to Pycon with the Battlestar Athena attached ASAP. That means we have to clear the scouts here or risk telegraphing our movements to the entire Cylon fleet. I'll prep the deck crews for the jump while you deal with the toasters. Good hunting, Commander. It's time to make our presence known in this war, Commander. I trust you won't need my instruction twice. Tell your ships to move full speed towards the enemy. Proceed when you're confident with your commands. Our ships use fire control systems to automatically target and fire on any hostiles that move within range. Turrets will be less accurate the smaller or further away their target is. You can access a ship's fire control and check on its firing solutions for yourself. Understood.
Sir, we've got a new Dreadus contact. Dreadus IFF confirms the contact is a silent corvette. Scanning for further intelligence. Understood. These Cylon Corvettes won't hold up to sustained fire. Focus your turrets on one side to punch through their armor and destroy the hull. These ships also have long-range guided munitions, useful for softening a target before closing in for the kill. Understood. Your ships don't seem to be performing as well as they should. Uh, they may have system damage that's been overlooked. Tell the engineering crews aboard those ships to hotfix what they can. I'll see to their comprehensive repair once you've finished with your engagement. Yes, Commander.
understood. Hostile contacts are down. We recorded a vid feed of the battle if the commander would like to replay the fleet's performance. Congratulations, Commander. But we still have work to do.
Kane has got her stomping boots on. Started shelling out orders before she'd even finished sticking the Admiral pin to her jacket. She's out to prove she's ready for the top job of Colonial Fleet. Can't feel good to earn that promotion off the back of your superior's bad luck. But we've all lost someone in this war, I guess. My sister was on Galactica before it disappeared. Pycon's government is blaming Kane for not delivering Athena earlier. Both she and Sinan won't be happy until we've delivered all 12 of the Jupiters to the colonies. Well, at least we'll get to see Athena clear out some toasters before we hand her over to PyCon. Daedalus is ready to jump on your command, sir. has got her stomping boots on. Started shelling out orders before she'd even finished sticking the Admiral pin to her jacket. She's out to prove she's ready for the top job of Colonial Fleet. Can't feel good to earn that promotion off the back of your superior's bad luck. But we've all lost someone in this war, I guess. My sister was on Galactica before it disappeared. Pycon's government is blaming Kane for not delivering Athena earlier. Both she and Sinan won't be happy until we've delivered all 12 of the Jupiters to the colonies. Well, at least we'll get to see Athena clear out some toasters before we hand her over to PyCon. Daedalus is ready to jump on your command, sir. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. Jump complete. Dratus contacts bearing 017, Karam 021. PyCon and the rest of the 12 colonies are watching our every move, Commander. Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. No pressure, sir. No pressure at all. On it, Commander. not lifeless assets to needlessly throw at the enemy, Commander. Adjust a ship's posture to tailor the crew's tactics so that you can match whatever opposition you encounter. A defensive posture ensures the ship's defense-oriented subsystems are more efficient. Likewise, an aggressive posture will boost the ship's offensive capabilities at the expense of the ship's defenses. On it, Commander. So say we all. Hostile unit identified. 
Commander, receiving word from Athena's CAG. Their alert vipers are online and ready to return hostilities. to hit priority targets or defend any of our own capitals. You can recall a squadron back to its carrier if the situation begins to deteriorate. On it, Commander. Missiles incoming! I've asked Sinan if there is any way we can stop those Cylon tech ships from hacking our systems, but he's being stubborn. We've already minimized onboard networking. Your firewall should keep them out for a while. Otherwise, take the subsystem offline for repairs if they cause too much damage. Or you can rely on the tried and tested method of shooting the Cylons down before they get the chance. Battlestars are equipped to accommodate flak ammunition. Use this to zone out fighters and incoming munitions. Understood. Fighter Squadron is taking fire!
so say we all. Missiles on their way. Missiles incoming! Manticore is taking damage. Sir, PyCon Intel just confirmed that Admiral McKinley died in the attack on Fleet HQ. With Admiral Sarkis still missing aboard Galactica, Admiral Kane remains the commanding officer of Colonial Fleet. McKinley was a good commander and a good soldier. We honor his memory today. So say we all. So say we all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Manticore is taking damage. Understood. So say we all. Understood. Yes, sir. we all.
say we all. Yes, Commander. Understood. Gradius is cold. All hostile contacts are cleared. If you're finished playing with Pycon's toy, I believe it's time to hand Athena over to their defense ministry. They've already been notified, Sinan. Commander, there's something else. We're having some difficulty with Daedalus's navigation computers. It'll be easier to explain from the war room. Commander, we have a problem. The Idris relay that we use to outsource our jump calculations is malfunctioning. Malfunctioning? 
What's our effective jump distance? It's difficult to estimate with just the onboard computers. The red line extends beyond Helios Alpha, but we'd probably need an intermediary jump to get anywhere significant outside of the system. This is what an ambush looks like, Commander. Find us a way back to Helios Gamma immediately. I want Daedalus under the cover of Ragnar's clouds before the Cylons can attack. Commander, we're going to need more ships. Sinan's taken up Yards 1 and 2 for the Jupiter-class battle stars, and we're only prepped to crunch manticores right now. The floor crews are changing their build priorities as we speak. There's no use having half-built battle stars if we can't defend them. Okay, we've got the Manticore hull underway, but let's push its fit out and training schedule forward. Your brand new Manticore is awaiting your orders, Commander. Sir, we suspect a satellite at Caprica Terminal may be the source of the Idris interference affecting our jump distance. I have the briefing packet ready. Colonial Fleet relies heavily on the Idris network. It provides access to accurate real-time locations and trajectory data of interstellar objects. The network is vital to our jump calculations. Without Idris, we can't tell if there's going to be a planet-sized inconvenience at the end of an FTL jump. We believe the Cylons are behind the interference of the Idris network and using the civilians at Caprica Terminal as a human shield. Caprica has granted us operational access to the terminal surrounds. Galactica is still MIA, so there will be no Battlestar to save the day if the Cylons do show up. To recap, we have to destroy every Cylon transmitter we find, restore the Idris Relay, and jump back to Ragnar, all without causing a single civilian scratch. Just another day at the office, right, Commander? Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Sir, Caprica Terminal has been locked down and local forces are en route to our position. Readings indicate there's definitely a bogus transmitter in the area. Civilian lives are of value. Their property is not. Find and destroy any relay hijacked by the Cylons. You heard her, Commander. Go blow up somebody's satellite. On it, Commander. Yes, Commander.
missiles on their way. Satellite is destroyed. We can leave Helios Alpha, correct? Not quite yet, Admiral. Idris data is still compromised. I've got another candidate for the source of the interference, however. Sir, new Dreda's contacts. Terminal broadcast isn't expecting any arrivals, so we have to assume the jumpers are hostile. So say we all. Hostile unit identified. Interference is still in place and it seems to be getting stronger. Commander, I have identified two more satellites showing potential interference. Incoming! Yes, sir. Navigation data is still compromised. They must have control of the entire Idris system by now. Not to mention we've destroyed more Capricorn infrastructure in the last few minutes than the entire Cylon fleet could on a good day. We've wasted enough time. Commander, remove the Cylon threat from Caprica Terminal before any more lives are put at risk. Yes, Commander.
So say we all. Understood. 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 So say we all. Say we all. Yes, Commander. On it, Commander. Missiles on their way. Adamant is taking damage.
On it, Commander. Adamant is taking damage. Adamant is taking damage. On it, Commander. Adamant is taking damage. Missiles on their way.
Admiral Kane. Capricorn and Corm representatives are on the line. They want to know about Colonial Fleet's involvement at Caprica Terminal. Divert the calls to my office, Lieutenant. And get us out of Helios Alpha, Commander, before I am forced to ground the Daedalus for good. Before we go venturing into the cold unknown, might I suggest we update our fleet a little? you want, but you will still need the cooperation of the colonies to turn raw materials and blueprints into a living, breathing crew aboard an operational ship. Luckily for you, Lucinda Kane is persuasive. Her recent display of force has provided us the requisitioning power needed for my adamant class frigates. We may as well be well defended, whatever it is you're dragging us into.
Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Multiple contacts on Dreadus, sir. Records show there hasn't been a Tauran presence out here since the war first broke. We can safely assume any Dreadus contacts out there are hostile. Blast us away home, Commander. So say we all. On it, Commander. Hostile unit identified. Commander! Multiple new Dreadus contacts. It appears someone really doesn't want us leaving Helios Alpha. Understood. Missile tubes prepped. Missile tubes prepped.
taking damage.
Yes, Commander. Manticore is taking damage. Daedalus is under attack. Manticore is taking damage. Yes, Commander. Manticore is taking damage. Daedalus is under attack. Manticore, down! Yes, sir. Manticore is taking damage. Daedalus is taking damage. Understood.
understood. Fighter squadron is taking fire. Daedalus is under attack. Yes, Commander. Say we all. are clear. We are go to jump to Helios Gamma, sir. I'll sleep better when I can see the Ragnar clouds again. I don't think I've had more than four hours of wreck time since Pi gone. We aren't safe yet. I want the Daedalus in Helios Gamma before we're attacked. What happened at PyCon and Caprica is unacceptable. If we're to get a handle on this war, we need offensive forces out there actively repelling these Cylon incursions. Commander, small strike groups may suffice for scouting, but to defend the colonies, we require full capital fleet groups led by officers of colonial fleet. I recommend you recruit experienced officers to provide strategic oversight to our fleets. Sir, one of McKinley's officers survived the attack on PyCon. We could recruit them to help aboard Daedalus. Once an officer has been recruited, they need to be assigned to the fleet group they will oversee. This officer is experienced enough to be promoted. Hand them their new badge, Commander. As they become more experienced, officers can choose to focus on fleet-wide tactics or bolster the strength of their personal flagship. The presence of a colonial fleet officer at a colony will encourage the local government to pay their Tilium stipend. We didn't create the articles just to have them ignored.
Commander, it is your job to keep the Daedalus well-resourced and the Twelve Colonies defended. I have other business to attend to. Lieutenant Agathon will brief you when I have further commands. Stations. Set condition one throughout Daedalus. 